Hey everyone, welcome to Worship Wednesday. Coming to you from Nashville uh, this morning. Yeah, I uh, trust you're doing well wherever you are in the world. Again, welcome. Thank you for joining us uh, for this Worship Wednesday. Um, beautiful day here. Hello, Isaiah, the first one up today. <laughs> Joseph, uh, Joseph Yusuf. Hi, guys. Gary Ricardo, Edith and Gary. Yeah. Well, welcome. It, <clears throat> it is um, going to be a, a fairly nice day here in Nashville. We've had rain the last couple days, but um, spring is here. I can tell because um, uh, the stuff gets in my throat from all the trees. <laughs> To all the trees blooming. <clears throat> anyway, um, hello, Judith. Welcome. Hi, Shirley. Uh, <laughs> good morning. Good evening, wherever you are in the world. Bloomington, Illinois. I guess you got a good view of the um, uh, uh, of the um, eclipse. I guess Bloomington was supposed to be pretty good. Uh, we had an eclipse, yeah, as you know, uh, come through. Nashville wasn't in the exact path, but uh, and it was cloudy, but I did buy those glasses, and I did look up at the... Uh, um, and just for about a minute, the uh, clouds went away, and we were able to see what was left of the sun during those few short minutes. But there was a lot of talk about it, and um, and it happened real fast. It was gone. <laughs> Anyway, Bloomington, Illinois probably had a good view of it there. <clears throat> yeah, well, let's worship a bit today. Hear our prayer. We are your children, and we've gathered here today. We've gathered here to pray. Hear our cry. Oh Lord, we need your mercy and we need your grace today. Yes, we do. Hear us as we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Our Father Hear us from heaven, forgive our sins, we pray. Hear our song as it rises to heaven. May your glory fill the earth as the waters cover the sea. See our hearts. And remove anything that is standing in the way of coming to you today. Our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Our Father, Hear us from heaven, forgive our sins, we pray. And though we are few, we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. And this is the song we'll be singing forever. Holy is the Lord. the Lord. Holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord. Let's worship Him. Holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord. 
Lord, our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Our Father, hear us from heaven, forgive our sins, we pray. Forgive our sins, we pray. Forgive our sins, we pray. Oh, yes. Mm. I have made. formed my heart before even time began my life was in his hands and he knows my name he knows my every thought he sees each tear that falls and he hears me when I call I have a father calls me his own he'll never leave me no matter where I go and he knows my name and he knows my every thought Each tear that falls And he hears me when I call And he knows your name Yes, he does He knows your every thought And he sees each tear that falls and he hears you when you call. Oh, he hears you when you call. Oh, he hears you when you call. Yeah. Yes, he does. serve a God who is the God of the past. He knows where you've been. He is the God of the present. He knows right where you are today. And He is the God of the future. And you can trust Him with your tomorrow. Amen. You've heard me tell this story before, but um, I, I love this story. Uh, I was over in Singapore and um, we have a lot of friends watching from Singapore more and more. Um, but uh, I was, uh, one of the sponsors for the concerts was the Peace Haven Home for the Elderly. And as a part of uh, of our functions, we, we went over there and um, just visited the uh, old folks. It was, a, it was an old folks home. And uh, going from bed to bed, room to room, and just uh, greeting the people and <clears throat> praying with them. And came to this one bed, and there was this old guy there. He looked like he was a 100 years old. Uh, he probably wasn't, but, boy, he looked old, and his, his legs were his legs were like, up, you know, he was all like in a, this position just 
you know, all cr- cramped up and crunched up and, and um, above his b- bed where they put the names of the patients, um, there was a um, sign that said, Mr. No Name, Mr. No Name. <laughs> and I looked at him and, uh, and they didn't even know what language he spoke. They found him on the street and, and nobody had f- still figured out what, how to communicate with him. And, and I said to Mr. No Name, I said, I know it says no name over your bed. I know he couldn't understand me, but I was just speaking to him, and I just said, I know somebody who does know your name. God knows your name, and he's right. he knows right where you are today. And I sang this song. He knows your name. He knows your every thought. He sees each tear that falls And He hears you when you call And He knows your name Yes, He does He knows your every thought And He sees each tear that falls and he hears you when you call he hears you when you call oh he hears you when you call Think about this. Um, you formed Psalm 139. I mean, the whole chapter is, you ought to read it today. It's good. Uh, oh, Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know, you know my sitting down and my rising up. You understand my thought afar off. You comprehend my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. <laughs> Listen, there is not a word on my tongue, but behold, O Lord, you know it altogether. He's the God of the past. He's the God of the present. He knows where you are today, and he is the God of the future. He holds tomorrow in his hands, and you can trust him to provide for every need. Um, Farther along in Psalm 139, you formed my inward parts. You covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works and that my soul knows very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and skillfully wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed, and in your book they all were written. The days were fashioned for me, when as yet (laughs) there were none of them. Wow. Think of the kind of God we serve. Yeah. And you think he's big enough to know your name? Yeah. He knows your name. That's right right where you are today. He knows your every thought and he sees each tear that falls and he hears you when you call. Oh, he hears you when you call. He hears you when you call. Yeah, so just call out to him to now, right now. Lord, we call out to you. You know our needs even before we speak them. You know what they are. So we thank you that you are the God of the past. The God of the present the God of the future, we choose to trust you today. 
with all that concerns us. Say to those who are fearful hearted, do not be afraid. Lord, your God is strong with his mighty arms when you call on his name. That's right. He will come and save. will come and save you. He will come and save you. Say to the weary ones, your God will surely come. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. He will come and save Lift up your eyes to him, you will arise again. He will come and save you. Yes, he will. Say to those who are broken hearted, do not lose your faith. Lord, your God is strong with his loving arms when we call on his name. He will come and save. Yes, he will. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. Say to the weary one, your God will surely come will come and save you. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. Lift up your eyes to him. You will arise again. He will come and save you. He is our refuge in the day of trouble. He is our shelter in the time of storm. He is our tower in the day of sorrow, our refuge in the time of war. And He will come and save you. He will come and save you. Say to the weary one, your God will surely come. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. Lift up your eyes to him. You will arise again. He will come and save you. Lift up your eyes to him. You will arise again. Come and save you. Lift up your eyes to him, you will arise again. Lift up your eyes to him, you will arise again. Lift up your eyes to him, you will arise again. He will come and save you. Yes, he will. Amen. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. Say to the weary ones, your God will surely come, and he will come and save you. He will come and save you. Well, I think you got the message. <laughs> he, he 
He's the God of the past, the present, the future. We cry out to him, and when we do, he will come and save. Um, okay, let's see who we got here. Oh, um, excuse me a second. Today I am drinking, what's this stuff called? Voice tea? Is that what it is? I think voice tea with a little honey. <clears throat> it's kind of green tea, but I put a little honey in it. Anyway, Zulnola, really Zulnola, 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 from Vintuk, Namibia. Wow, formerly Southwest Africa. Boy, I've wanted to come to Namibia for a long time, and um, man, it's hard to get there, but boy, I would love to come. And maybe if I'll come, I'll meet you, Zol, Zolnola, Zolnola, and I'll learn how to pronounce your name. Aileen from Saudi Arabia. Thanks for joining us. Mario from Cagayan de Oro. Been there uh, many times in the Philippines. Ina in Indonesia joining again. Welcome back. Edna in Toronto. I will be there, well, in the Toronto area, um, actually. Uh, wow, in a couple of weeks. Uh, our first concert is in, <clears throat> excuse me, Brampton. It's uh, Paul Balash, Brooke Nichols, and me. I'm bringing both of them along and uh, really looking forward to that. Of course, the whole band. Brampton, Ontario on the 26th of April. Uh, Ancaster, Ontario on the 27th. Uh, London, Ontario on the 28th. And Cambridge on the 30th, Cambridge, Ontario. So we're doing four concerts in the... I mean, it's not Toronto, but um, in the area. It, we're in Ontario, at least. Um, fa uh, finally, we're going to get to Saskatoon, one of my favorite cities. Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Say that a few times. Saskatoon, I feel like you need to say Kazuntaik. Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. That's uh, the 1st of May. We'll be there. And the 3rd of May, we will be in Burnaby, B.C., which is basically Vancouver. Burnaby, B.C. on May the 3rd. And on the 4th, Victoria, B.C. A beautiful uh, place there. So uh, go to donmoen.com forward slash tour. You find out where we're going to be and when we're going to be there. Some of the shows are sold out, but uh, you can go to our website. Hopefully you get a ticket. Again, donmoen.com forward slash tour, and you'll find out where we're going to be and when we're going to be there. Uh, hello, Bill in San Antonio. I was going to try to fly down to San Antonio this weekend to see our daughter and the twins. I miss those twins really a lot. <clears throat> and um, But it's just, when you do things last minute like that, it's uh, tickets cost a fortune. You know, just to fly to San Antonio, I might as well fly to, uh, to Johannesburg. <laughs> I mean, it's, what are they thinking? Okay, um, Augustina. Hi, Augustina, watching from Jakarta. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you're doing well. We are praying for you and the family and for Indonesia. Yeah. Well, we need to, a lot of different elections coming up. We need to be praying, folks, for uh, everything that's going on in the world and keep your focus. You know what? It's not all about a man who's going to be in power or is in power. God is in control of all of these things. But as the church, as his church, we as believers need to uh, let our voice be heard and pray, pray, pray. Yes. Amen. Uh, so uh, Grace in the Netherlands. Hello there again. Anelfa in Ontario. Hope we see you there. Uh, Bacolod City. Grace is watching from Bacolod City, which is a beautiful, it's the city of smiles. They call it that in the Philippines. And it, it's why? Because all the people smile. Anyway, um, good to have you, Grace. Annette in Germany, uh, em, uh, Emilia, Emilia in Honduras, uh, Ev, Eva in Dubai, or Eva, however you say it. Uh, Thomas is watching from Pakistan. Thank you for joining today. Helen in Massachusetts, Ness in London, Jim in Mankato, Minnesota. Yeah, I know where that is. Uh, Aravind in Chennai. <laughs> Thanks for joining again. Hello, Jane in Jakarta. Signa, our friend, is watching in Norway. Uh, thanks for joining today, Signa. Trust all is well with you. Kay, hello, Kay in the Singapore, watching again. Shannon, watching from West Virginia. Ask where your cup of coffee is. Well, it is in this um, paper cup 
today. I just didn't have time to put it in a <clears throat> in a glass cup. And unfortunately, it's not coffee. It's just a uh, um, voice tea. And it's okay. Uh, I just haven't had, I actually haven't had a cup of coffee yet today. So I will get that, Shannon. Uh, Daniel is watching from Mongolia. Wendy in Corona, California. Thanks for joining. Danny and Nast- N- Nastasha from Netherlands are watching. Thanks for joining us. Um, Pamela in Marshfield, Missouri. Monique in Quebec City. Quebec City. Um, uh, thanks for joining. Nelson in Mumbai, India. Joy in Hong Kong. Regina is watching in Paris. Uh, thank you, Regina. I know you asked for a song today. You asked me to sing um, uh, I Need You, Jesus. Rescue. I need you, Jesus, to come to my rescue. Uh, you know what? I need to just work on a, a little bit more. I don't sing that song a lot, but I, I did try. I, I sang uh, Our Father because I wrote it down. Jojo Aratus Aratus requested it. Somebody requested two hands, uh, Suchi Yano. I'll try to sing that. Uh, Jean, Jean Young Green requested, I will sing or thank you, Lord. So after the live stream last week, I just, I went on, I tried to, if, if you got a response from me that I liked it, um, that's good, but there are thousands of them. And I just, I went as long as I could and I was making notes of people that had requested songs. And I'm trying to respond to your request as much as possible. So, Regina, I will sing Rescue one of these days, and I'll probably put it in a lower key, but I'll do it for you. Uh, Jean Christophe, Christopher is watching. Jean Christophe. Is it Christophe? Christophe? I can't remember, John. Watching from Morocco again. Trust all is well over, over there with you, and I pray that as you uh, build God's kingdom there in Morocco, uh, that that he'll just give you the ability and to give you favor wherever you go, you and your family. So, Jean Christopher, uh, thanks again. Uh, Dorothy watching in Hong Kong. Michael in Madagascar. Estrella wants to know w- the Worship Wednesday schedule. <laughs> you know, the Worship Wednesday schedule is because of some uh, um, weird kind of idiosyncrasies with uh, YouTube. We are live on YouTube and Facebook now, but we'll pull down the YouTube uh, after this live. We pull it down. It stays up on Facebook. It's there on Facebook all the time, but it goes back up in a couple of days. It's because of all the different copyrights we're singing. There was something a little screwy about it, but but anyway... um, with the usual schedule is 9.45 a.m. We try to, 9.30 to 9, really 9.45 central time, um, we try to um, go live. And again, it's live now, but it will pull this down from YouTube. You'll still be able to watch it on our Facebook channel, which is Don Moen, parentheses, praise and worship leader, right? Yeah. Okay. Hope that helps. Uh, Linda in Pensacola, Florida. Hi there. Earl misses the praise and worship songs with Tom Brooks, Abe Laboreal, Justo Lamario, and Ron Canoli. Yeah. I do too, Earl. Uh, those, were, those were amazing, amazing days. Um, Tom and, uh, yeah, Tom Brooks. I've thought about trying to figure out a way to bring all of us back together again. <clears throat> Abraham's getting older. <clears throat> To get on a grueling tour schedule might be a, a bit difficult, but uh, Tom is out in California. Husto's out in California. Uh, Ron Canoli's in uh, Florida. But we have talked, Tom, Ron, and I have talked about bringing all of us uh, the, back together and doing a tour if we could. It sure would be fun, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. All righty. Um, better sing a little bit. I've been talking a lot. Hey, Gab, you're going to see us in Vancouver. Good. Come up and say hi to me. Introduce yourself. Um, thank you. Yeah, Calgary, Amsterdam, <laughs> Korea. See, the problem is when I start singing <clears throat> and I see these things flying by, it, it gets me uh, distracted. So I have to look uh, somewhere else. 
Okay, here's a song. This is for uh, uh, it's Shoot Shootsy Yano. Um, he wanted to hear two hands. Here it is. can I bring that would be pleasing to my king? Well, I'll give my heart, not just a part. I'm lifting up my everything. Well, it's all I have to offer. And it's all I have to give. One heart, one life to offer you. Two hands and one heart, that's what I give to you. Use me today, I know you can. Lord, I surrender to your plan. Well, you made this heart and you made these hands. Take me and use me as I am. Well, it's all I have to offer. And it's all I have to give. One heart, one life to offer you. Two hands and one heart, that's what I give to you. Little becomes a lot when it's in your hands. Take me and make me more like you it may not seem like much but with the master's touch i know that i'll be more like you yes i will i have two hands and one heart one life to offer you And one heart, that's what I give to you. I have two hands and one heart, one life to offer you. Two hands and one heart, that's what I give to you. That's what I give to you. Oh, yes. Yeah. Two hands and one heart. You may feel like you don't have a lot to offer to the Lord, but you give him what you have. Give him who you are. That's what God wants anyway. He's not asking you to be become somebody else and uh, before he accepts you. He's not asking you to clean yourself up and become perfect. Come as you are. Uh, that's the invitation today. Come just as you are. And uh, that's the way he accepts us. Offer him what you have, just like the little boy um, uh, with his five loaves and two fish, just like uh, Moses. Uh, God said to him, what do you have in your hand? 
just a rod, throw it down. It became a snake and he picked it up and it became his rod again. He goes, I will use this rod to deliver my people from Egypt. And, uh, and the, uh, uh, the, the lady, the widow who had just uh, a little bit of oil, the prophet said to her, what do you have in your house? And she said, just a jar of oil. And um, he said, go out into the city, get as many pots and vessels that you can get and um, bring them. And she began to fill them up and um, filled up all the vessels with oil. <clears throat> and he said, now go sell the oil and pay off your debts and live off the rest. <laughs> what do you have in your hand? What do you have? Those of you who are wondering, what am I supposed to be doing? Uh, you, maybe you're a businessman wondering, what is the problem? What am I supposed to do? And the Lord says to you today, what do you have in your hand? What do you have that you walk by every single day and, and maybe just walk by it? You don't even think about it, but begin to think about those things. Um, um, yeah, what is it that you've kind of missed, gone right over the obvious stuff? But ask the Lord to show those to you. And he can use that very thing to turn your business around. You know, it's just an idea like that. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if I should try to sing this song. Gosh, you know, I love the chorus of this song. <clears throat> What's that you have in your hand? I can use it. If you're willing to lose it. Take the little you have and make it grand. I am El Shaddai, and I'll more than supply your needs. You know, I pulled some of the verses up here. I don't know if I can pull it off or not. Uh, this is a song written by a friend of mine, Helena Barrington. She's in heaven now, but I just always love this song. And if you want to be blessed, uh, go to Spotify and catch Alvin Slaughter singing it. You know, Alvin's the one that can really <laughs> deliver it. Um, but uh, I'll try to sing a verse in the pre-chorus, which is really cool. When we have a work to do And the task, it seems, bigger than you That's when He steps in when you know in your heart that God's command takes more than can be done by man, that's when He steps in. Well, He sees you at the point of your need. He sees you at the point of crossing your Red Sea. In the moment you call, when you give him your all, he steps in, he steps in, and he'll say, what's that you have in your hand? I can use it, if you're willing to lose it, take the little you have and make it grand I am El Shaddai and I more than supply your needs what's that you have in your hand I can use it if you're willing to lose it take the little you have and make it grand I am El Shaddai, and I'll more than supply your needs. I am El Shaddai, and I'll more than supply your needs. Whom have I in heaven but you? 
There is nothing on earth I desire beside you. My heart and my strength, many times they fail. But there is one truth that always will prevail. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever, forever. Whom have I in heaven but you? There is nothing on earth I desire beside you my heart and my strength many times they fail but there is one truth that always will prevail God is the strength of my heart God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Oh, God is the strength, yes, He is, of my heart. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart and my portion. Amen. I was kind of just, I forgot. What did I, what was I thinking? I, uh. Forever. I don't know what I was thinking, but yeah. You get the point. Yeah, this is from Psalm 73. Uh, I love, you know, this is a great uh, chapter. Um, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but it's a Psalm of Asaph, a Psalm of Asaph. <clears throat> but the psalmist goes, uh, you know, it, it's, it's like everything's going wrong. Uh, verse 2, as for me, my feet had almost stumbled. My steps had nearly slipped, for I was envious of the boastful when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. And he goes on. And then in verse uh, 16 and 17, when I thought how to understand this, it was too painful to me. In verse 17, until, until I went into the sanctuary of God, then I understood their end. Uh, you know, his perspective changed when he came into God's presence. And then in verse 25, whom have I in heaven but you? There is none on earth that I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion for ever yeah forever forever yeah okay well i gotta get rolling here i'll say hello to a few folks uh Nadine in Douglasville, Georgia. Thanks for joining us. I think you've been with us before. Hi, Suzanne in Birmingham, UK. Uh, Dylan in Trinidad and Tobago. Gabriela is watching in Brazil. Uh, Dee in Indonesia. Gail in South Africa. Jeffrey in Amsterdam. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Elaine uh, saw you and Laura on the 700 Club. Sig <laughs> yeah, a lot of people emailed me about that. Uh, the 700 Club. A couple of years ago, they came to my house with a crew because I had was talking to um, 
I believe it was Pat and Gordon at that time, years back, about how Superbook, we love Superbook for the kids. We, I love the stories. I love to see them watch something that's uplifting and feeding their spirits. So we have all the episodes of Superbook, and, they, and uh, when the kids were especially younger, before they all started going to school, Friday, every Friday, every Friday morning was Pancake Friday um, at our house, and it was wild and it was crazy, and I'd be bake, cooking pancakes and eggs and bacon. Now that usually happens after church on Sunday morning. Uh, they go to the early service and everybody shows up here. Uh, so that same craziness happens at our house usually uh, after church on Sunday morning. But those days, yeah, Pancake Friday and um, and the 700 Club came in with the crew and said, uh, I know it sounds crazy, but can we come in and just take a, a view of that? I said, well, if you want some wild and crazy things happening, yeah, sure, come on, bring the cameras. And that's what they did. And, uh, and they reposted that segment on the 700 Club. You can probably go to their website and find it. But it's, it is kind of cute. You see all the kids, and they're watching the super book. And uh, you know, they, Laura and I uh, speak a little bit there. But I'm actually working on a book called Pancake Friday, if you can believe it. Yeah, Pancake Friday. And I'm just telling the story of going to Papa's house for Pancake Friday. So uh, watch for that. Um, Lydia in, in uh, uh, Lake Mary, Florida is watching. Laura in Brazil, Indiana. Brazil, Indiana. Uh, Sharon in Zambia. I, it looks like we've finalized those plans for me to be in Zambia. <clears throat> I forget those dates now. It's like the September 12, 13, 14, or something like that. But yeah, yeah. So I hope to see you there uh, in Zambia, Lusaka. Uh, Ken in New River, Arizona. Hi, Ken. Thanks for joining. Regine in Honolulu, Hawaii. We have a Regina in uh, Holland. We have one in Paris. We have one in Honolulu. Honolulu. Okay. Um, don't forget the tour dates. Uh, go to Um uh, uh, forward slash tour. And you figure out where we're going to be uh, all in Ontario. The first four dates starts the 26th of April. That's, wow, it's right around the corner. Paul Balash will be with me and Brooke Nichols as well. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a great tour. I love, I love working with both those guys. And, yeah. So come join us if you can. God will make a way Where there seems to be no way He works in ways we cannot see He will make a way for me He will be my guide Hold me closely to His side With love and strength for each new day he will make a way, He will make a way. And Lord, I ask you to make a way. Somebody needs to hear that today. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. And when everything you seem, that seems around you is hopelessness, God is about to do something new and fresh in your life. I believe it. To make a way where there seems to be no way, a roadway in the wilderness and a river in the desert. So Lord, we ask you to do that. In the name of Jesus, touch your people now all over the world, Lord. As we have been here in your presence, I ask you to heal, to save, to deliver, to provide for every need according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Mm. Yeah. If you need a touch from God physically today, you're in the hospital maybe, or the doctors gave you a report, uh, it's good to know the reality of your situation, but uh, it doesn't have to be the, f the finality. And I still believe we serve a God who heals. So in the name of Jesus, be healed. Thank you, Lord. Be healed in Jesus' name. 
I just speak life and health to you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for providing jobs. Thank you for bringing families together, bringing back the prodigals, bringing marriages together, Lord. Heal, heal broken marriages today. Make a way where there seems to be no way. With love and strength for each new day, He will make a way. Oh, He will make a way. Yes, He will. He will make a way for you. And now, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. And now let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich of what the Lord has done for us. Give thanks. Mm. Give thanks. We give thanks. Thank you, Lord, for being with us today. We bless your name. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for healing your people, for touching people all over the world today. We give you praise. We give you thanks. We exalt your name, Lord. High above every other name, you are worthy to receive all glory, all honor. In Jesus' name. Thank you for joining me for this Worship Wednesday. Uh, It has been good to be with you. Um, Again, um, well, yeah, I told you before, we'll take this down from YouTube, but it'll be on Facebook. You can find it there right away, and then we'll put it back up in a couple of days. You'll find it here. Remember, God is always working in ways you cannot see to make a way where there seems to be no way. He's doing it. I love you. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next week. God bless.